Good morning. Well, it's the last push on the yurt base. I know I said it yesterday. This is gonna be a tight one. So I've been putting in the second course of noggins, which are the ones all around the perimeter. Now I'm a few short, I've got a bit more wood, but I'm gonna head to Bricko now to get one more pallet of insulation. Hopefully that'll be enough. All the floor boards, all the OSB, and some more wood to do the noggins. And luckily I've remembered to draw where the beams are on the boards to make it easier to screw down later. Bon, merci. Ok, prochaine semaine peut-être. Ouais. Well, there's one big question. <laughs> is there going to be enough insulation to finish it? If there's not, that is pretty much a disaster. And it's not because I didn't plan. This is all they had and it's slightly more than I need. <laughs> it looks close already, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the diameter of the yurt now, mark it all on the boards and then cut all the excess off. Hopefully with the bits I cut off, we'll fill in all just the little tiny bits that are around the side. I've got two more boards left, so it's like, I think we'll make it, but bare minimal wastage on this. Okay.
I cannot tell you how glad I am that I spent the time marking where the beams were. What's, that? What's happened to me? Thinking ahead with stuff. So, it's late, but we've still got these boards to lay. Then I've got to finish them. Then I've got to cut the circle and then we're ready. Very, very worst case scenario, I get up early in the morning and I give it a spray of this lacquer and hopefully a few hours is enough for it to set and I can just blag him a little bit and well. Anyway, let's do the boards. This floor is friggin' big. So that's all the boards down, all the insulation down, it's all screwed down. Now I'm gonna have to wait till the morning to do the cut because it's probably not fair to be cutting at like two in the morning and making a racket. But what I can do is the finish. Now the finish is basically I'm gonna get a blowtorch and just burn it all. Now some of you may have seen me do that in the studio turns out super cool looks like kind of tortoise shell kind of finish really really cool unique super cheap as well it means I don't have to then put another floor on top of this yeah so let's burn some stuff before we go to bed get the gist this is taking longer than I thought so I'm gonna to head to bed get some sleep get up in the morning which is probably like four and a half hours time finish off the base it's, the varnish is gonna be a bit sticky when he arrives for definite but hopefully I've got a better time like when he's unloading the year uh, anyway just in the morning bed Good, uh, let's just get on with it.
Right, so basically they came an hour early. The floor wasn't finished, obviously. Um, so I haven't varnished it, I haven't finished burning it, but you know what, I worked that out after. It's going up at like a rapid pace. They've been here like an hour and a half, unpacked, and like nearly all the outside frames up. Mental. That is blooming high. So this is the reason why I haven't put a temporary staircase in yet. With this new scaffolding, we can access every single level. And more importantly, I can access the very top. Now, it actually, I've got another couple of meters to put on top if I want it. But this will allow me to reach the first, first floor in the tower. <sighs> Things are looking, well, up. Now believe me when I say, this thing <laughs> is enormous. The guys, I can't believe they put it up so quick. Look, I'll give you a proper tour and everything tomorrow. I just need some sleep. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow.